These days it seems just about everybody or every business has an app. And it turns out it's really not that difficult to produce one if you have the help of Software as a Service, the sponsors of this segment. Patrick Parker joins us to talk more about this. Patrick, thanks for being here today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on. It's great to be uh, enjoying some of the sunny weather for a change in Kentucky here. Oh, yeah, you're coming to us from Kentucky, and we have had some rain as well. But, yeah, we're enjoying sun most of the time here. We're talking about software and, and specifically apps. And these days, do most people expect every business to have an app? Absolutely, with, without a doubt. So the biggest thing about having an app and, and what consumer brands expect is that with branding, you're really trying to deliver a, a consistent experience across all of your customer touch points. And so in order to meet customers where they are, you need to have an app because customers are always on the go, right? Your workforce is on the go. They're actively moving around. They need to understand that they can still interact and engage with your brand, with their company. Uh, and so it's just become an extension of themselves wherein an app belongs on a phone, a phone belongs on a hand, and a hand gets the attention of the eyes. So without a doubt. And that's one aspect of what software as a service does. Who uses your service? Everybody, whether you realize it or not. So software as a service is basically a subscription and, and service delivery model that focuses on delivering web-based products. So think scheduling, think um, your video conferencing like we're doing now for me to remote in, uh, your CRMs, your accounting softwares, all of that is provided through cloud-based services. So whether you realize it or not, you probably use at least 10 of them in your daily uh, business life. And you build the software as a service. Absolutely. So not only do we just build software as a service products, which makes up the majority of our clients, but we build custom software across the board. So we build everything from um, smart device uh, software. We build everything from web and mobile apps. We do a lot of different things here, but the core of it all is custom software, which is what we're using to help businesses uh, grow their customer bases, meet their customers where they uh, are hanging out and ultimately drive revenues. And this is, you say, for all businesses of any size because some smaller ones might shy away when they think about technology and cost associated with it. How much does this mobile app development generally cost? Yeah, and so it, I think there's a big uh, misunderstanding around the, the cost, right? So with globalization and increased competition within the market, it's completely changed. It's become a lot more affordable than it used to be. Uh, and the, the biggest problem that I have, and we always get this question whenever we're interviewing clients, whenever we're going through discovery calls, they always want to know, what am I looking at as a ballpark, right? And I think that's the wrong mentality to go into it because what you're really doing is you're creating a new asset for your business, a digital asset in this regard. Sometimes it's a community where you're able to build loyalty and actually interact and engage with them. Sometimes it's in order to actually deliver a service or a product. So. There's a lot of different uses for software in general, but at the, the root of it all, it's very affordable at this point in time. And so if you understand the customer lifetime value that you have for each of your clients, and you can get really creative in terms of what you're actually spending uh, to, to have a custom software product built. And that will help you understand what return you can expect and new ways that you can add value to all of your customer base. Great stuff. Patrick Parker, thanks for joining us from Kentucky today. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on. And we want to thank SMG Group for sponsoring this segment. For more information about software as a service, visit saaspartners.io.